Well, hello, ICAR. I'm Professor Hartman, and I've been uh, teaching at American River College since 2016. Um, I'm in an office. Uh, unfortunately, uh, as we are sitting here, uh, pandemic, post-pandemic, uh, we have not been able to be in our labs or even on campus uh, for the last year and six months. So um, I do not have access into our shop facility to actually show you the shop, which would be great if I could. Um, so it brings us to obviously why we're here, right? We're here to sit there and try to expand our programs, uh, make sure our programs are continuing to be uh, up to date and uh, in the latest technologies, right? But first, let me give you a little bit of background on me. Like I said, I started in 2016 with American River College as an adjunct professor, which I still am an adjunct professor. Uh, I come from industry. Uh, I owned auto body and paint shops uh, back in 1991, back in the good old days, and sold my shop in 2016. So uh, a lot of background in there. I've taken a bunch of the ICAR courses uh, through my career, um, and my employees had run them through the ICAR programs uh, because that is our industry standard. Um, again, back in 2016, came in as an adjunct uh, and started with our program at American River College. Program there, uh, we have about uh, 10 stalls, uh, work stalls. We have two paint booths. Uh, it's a converted military base uh, where they're mechanical. So we do have uh, paint booths, which is great. Uh, one of the nice things about our program is it is the only program that is available, auto collision, uh, throughout the uh, Sacramento Valley. Uh, the closest um, other automotive collision program is one at Yuba College, which is kind of really kind of small. So um, the nice thing, again, is we do have access to a lot of uh, students that are available around our facility to be uh, in our programs. Um, when I took it over, uh, we were running around 45 um, students in our program. It's a night program. Uh, all of our uh, instructors are all part-time. We do not have a full-time instructor at our uh, collision facility, um, which again, uh, started back in 2016 when I had taken it over. Before it was a day program, um, and again, it's moved into a night program because we share our facility actually with uh, the uh, diesel and uh, light duty diesel uh, program uh, at American River College. So uh, again, kind of kind of combined uh, in, in, in their building. So again, uh, stall spaces. Uh, we have uh, chief uh, frame equipment, measuring equipment things. We have a full uh, regiment of ICAR program through the uh, educational program. We use that as our curriculum uh, to get our students from running through the program. Uh, biggest need is obviously like is the latest technology when it comes to our industry. Um, our equipment, um, our welders and things we have set up into, uh, we have 24 work stall stations in our welding. So when we practice our uh, structural welding, we do have the facilities and the spots to do that, except for our equipment is older. Uh, last time those had been kind of changed out was back in 2012 is what I understand, getting some information. Um, and again, is getting those uh, into multi-processing units and being able to sit there and do the uh, spot welds and all that that we need for our industry and teaching that uh, to our students. Um, the nice thing, again, with our program, which we have been doing, is being able to uh, reach out into our local community and started a uh, articulation program uh, with Sava High School, which I'm a teacher. I'm the lead teacher there. I teach full time at Sava High School and implemented a collision articulation program with them. The nice thing with that is they um, were kind enough to say, OK, we'll just pilot out a program, see what happens. Started out there with uh, one class, and this was in 2017, um, and had uh, 10 students. Uh, it's a smaller uh, charter high school. And uh, basically over a short period of time, about a three semester program, um, I'm full time there uh, teaching uh, all our uh, basic courses, again, using ICAR. Um, a, a program to end up teaching these students what the proper way to repair a vehicle. 
So that program feeds into our program at American River College. Uh, the SAVA program uh, started out with a small, like I said, amount of students, but now, uh, well, pre-pandemic, uh, the last uh, student counts on my roster, uh, this was in 2020, right before the shutdown, uh, my roster had 156 students running through, high school students running through that program, doing um, auto collision basics, uh, non-structural, um, can't do any refinishing because we were doing that with the college. Uh, we don't have any paint, painting facilities there. Uh, and then uh, collision welding. And so we started a welding program with there too. So again, having a lot of students to sit there, a feeder program into our college. Again, that was in 2017. And we've been able to get these students coming from the high school into our college program. Uh, currently uh, at the college, again, we've all been distance learning. So the distance learning was not, uh, you know, obviously the hands-on very difficult to end up doing, uh, but retaining those clients, or as I always say clients, because they come from business, is our students is keeping them engaged. I mean, have to keep them engaged on a, on a personal level and then also as a professional level. We've also been uh, with a uh, college is being teamed up with uh, some of the local consolidator here uh, shops uh, uh, with the, uh, well, let's see, Thomas Walker is with, um, uh, now he, actually he is with the uh, Service King and he is the talent acquisitions coordinator there. And he was with Caliber Collision, uh, which last during the pandemic, we placed 12 of our students at the college with their program and are st still currently employed uh, with them. And doing again, one of the advantages of having a night program is our students are able to do some work experience through our uh, degree program and be able to work full time and then come to school and do that. So again, those are just a little bit of the background. Unfortunately, have not been able to get into the shop uh, to see uh, what we do have. I know that uh, uh, Mark, um, our, our area rep, uh, has been uh, privileged of actually coming out to the shop and seeing the shop there at American River College. And then also he at Asama, uh, we met with him um, months and months and months ago, pre-pandemic, uh, with uh, what our program is starting over there. So needs, huge needs is basically updating, updating into um, ADOS programs, systems. Uh, nobody's teaching any of that. I know that ICAR has been a huge uh, instrument when it comes to how that's going to be put uh, forth. I was approached uh, during the pandemic about coming up with a an EV and collision and advanced technology autonomous driving uh, when it comes to the collision industry. Uh, these are things, again, that are areas of interest for uh, our academia, for uh, the college. And again, is making sure that our students are up to up to par with what our industry needs and what we as a as a college can sit there and offer to them. Again, me. I wish I could sit there and show you. I'm going to uh, try to attach some photos uh, to this to see if you guys can. I do have some photos of our shop um, there at the college to do that um, and, and be able to come up with some kind of program. Always get a hold of me anytime uh, uh, on my information on the uh, application. Uh, uh, it's my pleasure to be a ICAR uh, school and teach our, our ICAR uh, program. And uh, anything and everything would be a huge plus to help our program out at American River College. Thanks again, you guys and gals for all your support and all of your uh, well wishes because I've talked to a few of the over the pandemic and uh, all great ideas and I appreciate it. Take care. Enjoy. Bye-bye.